when you have no money, you have very few options. Yeah. And uh, so you're at the mercy of what you what you can buy. Right now, it's worth a million dollars. You got to take what you can get. So this property that I bought, uh, when I went all all in my 30 grand, when I bought, I sold my house, um, the, the little wartime house, the very first house I bought, the rent owned. I sold that, took the whole 30,000 and put it into this little strip mall. But I had to move into the strip mall because I had no house now. So I was living with all the crackheads and all the crazy people. There was fights in the parking lot and people staying up all night and parties and it was complete mayhem. Drug dealers on the street in front. <laughs> <laughs> it was completely insane and i was fighting with all these people because to me i took it personal like this was my yeah this was my house this is where you know i i bought this place and it was mine now and uh, but I did you know you personal. did your due diligence about the market right or I no didn't care. it was it was the only oh. deal that i could get and that to me oh. it was a big deal I, you know i didn't care whether it was you know due diligence there was no when you have no money you have very few options yeah and uh so you're at the mercy of what you what you can buy 30,000 down, I bought essentially, you know, a $325,000 building that I thought, well, right now it's worth a million dollars and it's only been about, um, well, it's been, well, it's about probably 15 years ago, but uh, it's it's gone on, up a lot in value. But at the time, uh, you know, you got to take what you can get. And yeah. I had I had to move in with all the crazies and that, that lasted, I was there for about a year and I was just starting to date Kim at the time. So that was insane. Um, you know, I felt, I was embarrassed and and proud and embarrassed at the same time right. because, because I had to live there and I had to make the best. I didn't even have enough money to fix up my apartment, so I just made the best, made it the best I could be. I picked the best one and kicked the person out. What do you think nasty. about hiring people versus fixing things on your own when well, you're first getting started? Yeah, like I mean, when I, I could only afford a couple of staff back then, and even then was really hard because they were basically, I had a construction business at the time, so my, my staff, my construction business staff, the two guys that I had with me, they worked with me, you know, nights, weekends, or whatever. So during the day, we had to do our construction business and make money to, to pay the bills. And then nights and weekends, I'd be working. I'd be working all the time, seven days a week, 12, 14 hour days. I would just go, 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 go. But uh, you know, convincing those guys to work weekends. And but the most, most of the work I did myself, uh, believe it or not. No, I tell people all the time, even if you're not a investor, just invest in some tools and learn a skill. You can learn anything on YouTube. Exactly. Yeah.